One of the things when I was reading about Sumi Logic, it achieved a lot of performance when it comes to the writing and reading uh, uh, on of the logs, like uh, 50K reads and uh, 5K writes. Uh, how did you guys achieve that in the Sumi Logic? Sure, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, so this was uh, one of the features that I worked on uh, related to data enrichment of logs with additional data, uh, which people wanted to do on runtime. I, I would say this, this, this was one of the features which we built incrementally that that has uh, also been a learning that you know do not try to boil the boil the ocean on day one right uh, we did not achieve that scale on day one uh, we were given a tight deadline uh, the underlying layer for this data that had to be that had to be used for enrichment used dynamo db so we started using dax it's a caching layer that dynamo uh, built over dynamo and they uh, have the same apis so you know it was really fast to build and at the time uh, we knew that there would be some limitations that we'll hit with this technology but it was okay because number one uh, if there's a feature you're working on that uh, nobody can go out and use it's useless right like you you can keep building for scale if nobody nobody's using it it's, it's pretty useless so we went ahead with that and uh, you know we released a beta feature we had a bunch of customers using it and they were pretty happy with it uh, slowly started getting adoption and uh, we started hitting limits we had suspected that and in fact we, we reached out to amazon for some of those uh, uh, bottlenecks that we were going through we we asked for uh, they could help us scale it up uh, a little bit more and, and th uh, this is another important lesson that sometimes a technology can have some limitation so then you know eventually we uh, switched to another distributed caching layer over it we had some time at our hand we we got it working for for a certain scale and then uh, you know keep kept working to make it incrementally uh, more scalable